Hello my crochet friend! Welcome back to another video. This is Brunette Kaliti and I'm so excited for today's video. So, so happy because I'm going to show you how to crochet the cutest jellyfish. This one right here. So quick, so easy to make. I made this one at the beach. If you haven't seen my video on TikTok, Instagram and everyone wanted a tutorial. So here it is. I'm pretty happy to share this one with you and I really hope you like it. For this project, you can use any yarn you want, any weight, any color. I am using here these four shades of yellow because I made this one in blue and it turned out the cutest thing. So I wanted to make one using my favorite color in which is yellow. And I am mixing my yarns here. So these two are Iggy and these other two are Doni by Teslan.com. And I'm using here a number two sports weight yarn. And for the tools, you simply need a hook and a pair of scissors. That's it. We are not going to be doing any weaving in today's video. No weaving. Yes. So for my hook, I am using a 3.5 millimeters because this is the one that goes with my yarn. So just use the hook that it's equivalent to the yarn you are using. So now go ahead and pick the very first color you are using. This is the sequence that I'm doing lightest to darkest. So this is the one that I'm using first. So here at the beginning, you want to leave about 15 to 20 centimeters for the tail. And then I'm going to be working a magic ring. I'm going to chain one in which is not going to count as a stitch. And then I'm going to work eight half double crochets into the ring. So once you have that, you can just pull the end to close the ring and then you go into slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. Chain one is not going to count as a stitch and then into the same stitch that you did the slip stitch work two half double crochets. And now you're going to work two half double crochets into every stitch around. So here's the last one. And then at the end, you're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. So I'm going to be doing two rounds of each color. So I'm going to now chain one, cut off my yarn and fasten off. So now I'm going to be using my next shade of yellow, a little bit darker now. And then I'm going to be working a slip knot. So I'm going to now attach this yarn into any stitch around with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and into the same stitch, I'm going to work one half double crochet. And now into the following one, I'm going to be doing two half double crochets. And that is the sequence all the way around. So next one, one half double crochet. And then the following one, two half double crochets. And now repeat that all the way around. And for the ends, you can leave them as it is, or you can just feed the end in between the stitches just for a couple of stitches and then you can just release them and then continue. So I'm here into my last stitch. So I'm doing two half double crochets into that. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the very first half double crochet. So now you're going to chain one and half double crochet into the very first stitch, the one that you did the slip stitch. And then half double crochet into the following one, just one half double crochet. And then the following one, it's going to be two half double crochets into the same stitch. And that is the sequence for the next round. So one half double crochet into the next two stitches. And then two half double crochets into the following stitch. And now repeat that all the way around. So I go into the last one, increase into that, and then slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Now I'm changing color again. So chain one, cut off the yarn, 
and fasten off and now bring the next shade. Work a slip knot and attach into any stitch around. And then chain one, one half double crochet into the same stitch and then one half double crochet into the next two stitches. So here we have three half double crochets at the beginning. And then into the following one, work two half double crochets into the same stitch. So that is the sequence all the way around. So one half double crochet into the next three stitches and then increase into the following one. So two half double crochets and then repeat that all the way around. So now I got here at the end, the last one is going to be an increase and then slip stitch into the first half double crochet. And this is going to be the last round with increases. So now we have to do four rounds without increases or decreases. So you're simply going to chain one, half double crochet, just one half double crochet into that very first stitch where you did the slip stitch. And now just half double crochet all the way around. So here's the last half double crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first one. Now I'm changing color again. So chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off and now bring the next shade. So the following two rounds I am doing with the darkest yellow. So it's going to be rounds seven and eight. And then once that's done, I will change back to the lightest one. And then I'm going to be doing round nine using this one. So once I have that completed, I will be back and then I'm going to show you the next step. So I've just finished the three next rounds without increases or decreases. Now I have nine rounds in total. So now for round 10, I'm doing some decreases around and I'm still going to be using the same yarn that I did round nine. So I'm going to chain one and half double crochet. So one half double crochet into the next three stitches. So at the beginning, we are going to be having three half double crochets. And then we are going to decrease into the following two. So what I do into the following stitch, I work the first part of the half double crochet, just like so. And then I go into the following stitch right after that. So just leave all the loops on the hook, go into the following one, the following stitch, and then you go into pull up a loop. And now you can just yarn over and pull through all the loops. So this is how I like to decrease when it comes to half double crochets. So now we are going to repeat that again, the sequence. So one half double crochet into the next three stitches and then decrease into the following two. So into the next stitch, work the first part of the half double crochet, leave all the loops on the hook, go into the following stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook, just like so. And now repeat the sequence all the way around. So at the end, you're going to be having two stitches. So you're going to decrease following the pattern and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first half double crochet. And now I'm going to chain one, cut off the yarn and fasten off. So this is what you are going to be having right after doing the decreases. You see that it went in a little bit and this is the hood of the jellyfish. So now the next step, if you wanna do the next step is to add these little bubbles here at the end in which is more like a cute detail. They are not really like this, but I found really, really cute and I wanted to add them. <laughs> 
and I'm going to bring the second collar, which is this one. Make a slip knot and then attach into any stitch around. So I'm going to be attaching with a slip stitch and then I'm going to be chaining two. And into the same stitch, I'm going to be working a three double crochet cluster. So you're going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook, inserting into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, leaving the last one on the hook. And now you're going to be doing that two more times. And here is the last one. So once you have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the loops like this. And now to turn this into a little bubble, you're going to simply slip stitch into the same stitch. So go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, make it really nice and tight, and then slip stitch. You can see that it formed a little bubble. You can push it out if you want as well like this. So now to continue, slip stitch into the next two stitches and then into this last one that you did the last slip stitch, you're going to be making the bubble again. So you're going to chain two, make the three double crochet cluster and then slip stitch into the same stitch. Make it really nice and tight, slip stitch. And this is simply what you're gonna do all the way around. So slip stitch into the next two stitches and then into this last one, the last slip stitch, you're going to be doing the little bubble again. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the last one you can simply just fasten off here if you want, or you can slip stitch into the next one. And now chain one, cut off the yarn, and then fasten off. I'm going to just make a knot with the two ends here, the last two. So now with the two last ends, if you want, you can leave them just like this or you can just move them a little bit further into the work here on the reverse. And then you're going to be moving as further as you want. I'm just doing three stitches, as you can see. And then I'm going to be moving one end through another stitch here at the back. And then I'm just going to be making a knot just to secure this in place. And now the last things that we have to do are making the little arms and I made four and all of them are using the same method. So I'm going to show you how to make them next. So to make the arms, you are simply going to turn the hood inside out and we are going to be making them using the stitches here at the back of the very, very first round. So go ahead and get one of the colors you are using. I'm going to be making four arms exactly the same as the blue one. So one in each color. So leave the sizing of the tail that you want. Make a slip knot. And then just fold a little bit the work like this until you can see a little stitch into the first round. Choose one little stitch here at the back. So now you're going to pull up a loop and then you can do a slip stitch or a single crochet. I just like doing single crochet for this one. And now you can chain as many as you want. I'm doing for this first one, a chain of 45. So this is how it looks like. As you can see, I have my chain of 45 now. And to make the little curly cues, you're simply going to work three single crochets into one chain. So you're going to be skipping the very first one, not the one around the hook, the actual chain. Go into the next one, work one single crochet, and then into the same one, work two more single crochets. 
and I will go into the following chain and work three single crochets and just keep doing that until you have covered all the chains so next chain work three single crochets and you see that it's going to start to curl so now carry on repeating the same steps going down the chain and then come back once you have around five chains at the end So once you have the five chains getting close to the base, if you want, you can carry on doing the curl all the way to the base here. But because this is going to be hidden inside the hood, then we don't really need to do it. So I'm just going to single crochet all the way down into the last five chains here at the end. And then when you get into the single crochet, you're going to just find one little stitch into that and then you go into single crochet and then to finish it off, slip stitch into the same base stitch that you did the attaching of the yarn. Now you can chain one, leave as much yarn as you want, cut it and fasten off. And now you're going to be repeating the same steps three more times so do the second one into the opposite side finding a stitch here and doing the second one here and then two more going across like this one here and another one here so the blue one looks like this so i have two on this side and two on the other side so for this one that i just did with you guys i did a chain of 45 the next one i'm doing a chain of 40 and then the following one, I'm doing a chain of 35. And then the last one, I'm doing a chain of 30. So I just finished making all the curly cues inside the hood of my jellyfish, in which are the little arms of my jellyfish. And if you don't want them this curly, you can leave them curly like this if you like them with the curls really nice and tight. But now, if you want it to look like the blue one, in which is not super curly, let me show you. And here you can see the difference between the yellow and the blue. And to make this look like the blue one, you just have to pull the little curls apart. So you're just gonna take the little curl and then you're going to pull them like this. Just pull them really, really hard like this. <laughs> And it's going to just drop the curl. Look at that. I'm gonna do the same to all of them. Ta da! Check this out. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? So now I'm going to show you the last thing, in which is the little holder at the top, the little loop at the top. So choose the yarn that you want the little loop holder to be i'm doing the same shade that i did the very first round so choose the sizing that you want remember that we are going to be making a knot at the end so leave a little bit for the knot so i have here 15 on this side so it's probably about 30 32 centimeters in total we are going to be transferring both ends from here the right side to the reverse i'm gonna do into the very first round so go through here the reverse choose one stitch here on the reverse make sure that it's into the first round and then you're going to be moving one of the ends through that stitch leave it here at the back and then choose the opposite stitch, in which is this one. And then you're going to be moving the other side through that stitch. So now move here on the reverse. Make sure that you just move all the curly cues out of the way. And now you're gonna get both ends, put them together and make 
a knot here at the end and I'm going to be doing a double knot one knot on top of the other basically then I'm going to be cutting the end just leaving a tiny little bit like this so the jellyfish is not completed we have to just turn the hood on the right side and going around everything that we've just created the little curly cues and then we have to pull the loop up like so now you just have to mold a little bit the hood because we were moving it around just make sure that it's really nice and round like this <laughs> this is so cute <laughs> and then you just want to pull all the little ends that we have here down so they are nice and straight and you can now also choose the sizing that you want the ends and if you want you can cut them i'm going to just cut them a little bit And that's simply how to crochet the super cute jellyfish and here's the blue one how cute are they let me know in the comments how yours turned out and if you end up making one don't forget to tag me so i can see your take on it and the colors you have chosen for your jellyfish i was so impressed on how quick it was to make because i wasn't really paying attention on timing when i did the blue one but now I did time it and it took me one hour and a half. So it was super quick and super easy and the coolest thing and so, so fun to crochet. Love, love, love it. And this is actually the perfect little gift, right? So easy and it looks really cute. You can make two or three to gift to someone and they can just hang around the house, especially if they live in the seaside imagine how they would love something like this i would so i really hope you enjoyed crocheting this jellyfish with me and if you did enjoy don't forget to leave your massive thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch more videos just like this one make sure to keep your hook super busy and your heart full of creativity thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye